a question for you. Do you need an alias in sales? Now, I have known some salespeople that probably did, but I'm not talking about that kind of alias. I'm talking about the alias method, and it's a method I want you to, to write down and learn because I think it can help you with your sales career. So take a piece of paper, if you'll take a moment, and just write down on it A-L-I-A-S alias okay and you're going to use that acronym to help you remember a little bit about what you want to do with with your sales process all right the first a in alias is ask questions boy we talk about that a lot don't we we drill that home ask good open-ended questions and again an open-ended question not one that can be answered yes or no but one that gets your prospect to open up and tell you about them Okay, so the A in alias is ask questions, and I want you to think about good open-ended questions. Here's a tip for you. Take some time and write down eight or ten good open-ended questions and make sure they meet that criteria of they can't be answered yes or no, that you would want to know about a prospect, and kind of have them in your back pocket that you can go to and make it conversational instead of sitting there like you've got you know you're filling out you're grilling a prospect and you're getting all the information okay that's not what i'm talking about this is all part of the conversation all right that's the a in alias the l if we ask then we listen and i want you to listen actively okay you know, you catch yourself sometimes listen passively to the radio as you drive or whatever, and you don't even remember the last song played or whatever. When this prospect is talking to you, don't be thinking about what you're going to say next. Don't be thinking about your next appointment. Listen to what they're telling you with your ears and with your eyes. If you will listen, I'm a firm believer that every prospect will tell you what it takes to sell them. But we have to listen, and it's not always verbal okay it's not always something that comes out of their mouth so listen that's the a l i is then inform them of the benefits of what you have to offer now this is not all happening in one meeting probably okay unless you sell a product where you can do all this in one meeting you if you're in retail you ask them what they're they're looking for you listen to what they want you inform them of the benefits Features versus benefits. Benefits are what it does for them. How does it benefit them? Make sure you're presenting your product or your solution in a way that benefits them. Then the next A, ask for the sale. Ask them to buy. Find ways that you can naturally ask them to buy. After you've asked the questions and you've listened and you've informed them of the benefits, then ask them to buy. If you've done the other parts right, that should be a very natural step of the process, which leads to our S, which is success. So I think you do need an alias in sales. Ask questions, good open-ended questions. Listen actively. Inform your customers and your prospects of the benefits of doing business with you, and then ask for the sale. And if you do all those things, it will lead to the S, and that is success. Thanks, everybody, for joining me this week for their Sales Power Tips video blog. Hey, get my new book, Sales Management for Dummies with John Wiley and Sons. I'm thrilled uh, about the launch of the book. You can get it at my website at butchbella.com. Just go to the store there and buy it where you can see all my stuff, my video training series and uh, online courses and everything. Also, if you'd love uh, to, or I would love for you to drop me an email, butch at butchbella.com. Let me know if you've got a question you'd like for us to tackle in a future uh, video blog, and I will see you back here again next week. Mm -hmm.